Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the most genuine gaming food vlogging channel on YouTube. I say that because I can back it up. I can back it up. Messed up hair and all. But nevertheless, are we getting a PS5 sooner than we expect? At least that's what's reported on Game Rant. Uh, a report saying that the, a PlayStation 5 part production is ramping up. They're speeding up the process. And I don't know if this is the official look of the PS5, but you gotta admit this is all Tron and looking Tron-like. I'm liking this. If this is the, the, the design that they're deciding to go with, I'm all with that. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, Jason Gerblick reports that production for the PlayStation 5 may not be as far off as expected. Judging from a report released by a chip manufacturer, the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company says they're ramping up production of a new chip used for gaming applications, leading tech-minded consumers sp to speculate about Sony's progress in developing a next-generation processor for the PlayStation 5. Hmm. Hmm. Just speculation, though. While it may, while it might initially seem a stretch to connect the chip manufacturer's report to the police to, to the PlayStation 5, why is they showing an ad in my video? Why is it showing an ad in my video? Fuck them. Uh, might as <laughs> while it might seem an initial, why it might initially seem a stretch to connect the chip manufacturer report. To the PlayStation 5, rumors hold that the Sony's next home console would use both an AMD graphics processor and CPU. Not exactly a shock to anyone familiar with the PS4's architecture. The reason that's significant is because the next generation of AMD's GPUs and CPUs will demand an extra grunt from the 7NM chips, which will now, which have now officially entered high volume production. More than 50 products tape outs has been planted by the end of this year from applications across mobile, server, G G CPU, network processor, gaming, GPU, G PGA, cryptocurrency, automotive, and AI. Our 7M, our, our 7NM is already in volume production, said the president of TSMC in the recent financial conference call. The mention of gaming as a factor in their decision to increase production could suggest that Sony is the big buyer responsible. With reports circulating about the PS5 potential release window, plus a rumor that dev kits are already in the hands of developers, gamers holding their breath for Sony's next big console can breathe a sigh of relief, although nothing concrete has surfaced thus far. The consistency, the consistency of reliable reports is reassuring. Still, conflict reports about the PS5's release window range from as early as 2018 to as late as 2020, considering that the PS5's base architecture is expected to use the AMD's Navi GPU, which won't be shipping until later this year, 2018 may be a tad optimistic. With a host of blockbuster exclusives on its roster, plus the success of the PS4 Pro, Sony is well positioned to take their time with developing the PlayStation 5, with rumors that the successor to the Xbox One could be releasing within the next three years. It could be a race to the finish as to which manufacturer will first introduce the world to the new generation of console gaming. The Source PlayStation Universe. Man. Now I remember when the PlayStation uh, 3 was getting announced for the first time and we seen all of these different random pictures uh, of you see various, um, you know, drawings, <clears throat> drawings and, uh, and prototype sketches and these rough drafts for the PS3. People had all these off the wall things. Same thing with the PS4 when it was rumored to come out uh, a lot sooner than when it was supposed to. And um, now with the PS5, it looks like we got our first picture right here as to what this may look like. And if it looks anything like this, dude, I'm all for it. Just as long as the controls are responsive, there's nothing too crazy about it. Dude, I'm looking forward to this. And I hope we hear something soon. I mean, I, I would I would say that it's still like a year or so too soon before we get anything but 
we should be getting the PS5 within like the next couple years or the next three years, just like what what's expected with the Xbox One's uh, with the Xbox One's uh, next console. So, what do you guys think? Would you be mad if this is the next PS5? Uh, would you be mad if this was the PS5? This look right here. And what do you think about the report? I think, you know, it is a bit of a stretch altogether. But it's still something to get hype about. I mean, to think that we're getting another console, it only feels like yesterday when the PS4 was released, though. It, 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 it kind of does feel that way. It, it kind of feels like we're still in the current gen. I don't think we're quite ready for the PS5 just yet. Maybe in like another two or three years of course but right now you know it's still too early you know what i mean like we still got some time with the ps4 like before we kick it to the curb so I, like i don't want to get rid of my ps4 pro just yet you know like i got this thing what last year and i still want to have more fun with it so tell me what you guys think link to this story and this article is going to be in the description so you guys can check it out later and uh until next time Peace and keep on gaming. I'll see you guys later.